The Mick Donato Show starts now. How you doing there, folks? Mick Donato back with another great episode of The Mick Donato Show with my producer, Danny. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, he's in the booth. He, uh, he co-hosted last time, but I think you prefer being the booth, yeah? Yeah, I like the booth better. Yeah. He's better there. He controls all the buttons. Um, Danny, I'm in a great mood yeah. this week. That's good. I'm pretty tired. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, it's, really. it's late on Sunday. Very tired. I was watching the Pats Steelers game, and I still don't know who won because as of this, this taping, they're still playing. But we got to get this done. Yeah. But the reason I'm in a great mood is we got some heat on the uh, the internet there. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, you told me about this. Before I go into that, uh, check out mcdonato.com. And that's when you get this show and all the great shows. You know, information, check out some merch, you know. But um, we got uh, a mention on who are these podcasts. Do you know that, Danny? Yeah, you, you showed me. Yeah, this. I posted it uh, on the uh, the website there. But um, my new buddy Carl, you know, uh, he talked about us, and I, I put together a little clip. I posted the full thing on the website there, Danny. But can you just play that that little clip? All right. I got yeah. It. Uh, and uh, this is Carl. I want to talk about my there buddy Mick Denoto. McDonato. Mick Donato <laughs> has a show. And you have a show. He talked about WATP recently. Hmm. WATP is who are these right. podcasts. This, this guy, yeah. you're going to probably notice that he's from the New England area okay. when I start playing his show for you. He has a 12 year old as his producer who's also That's on Danny. Mike quite Danny. a bit. This is the setup as to him talking be. about WATP. All right, uh, Danny, pause it, pause it, pause it, okay, okay, okay. pause it. So he said Mick Donato, and I think he said that on purpose. Because when I was reviewing their show, I called uh, him Kyle, not Carl. I didn't know. So, Carl, if you're listening, you're watching. I'm sorry, but uh, touche. Nick that's the same. Denoto. Yeah, all right, go ahead and play the rest of it. All right. Yeah, play the rest of it. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. I really like the bit of you scolding the kid. I, I, I hope that is a bit. If it's a bit, it's brilliant. It's pretty all brilliant, right. even Mick, if it's not a Mick bit. Did that? All right, take it down. Right. And his, his guest is saying, hey, if, if Mick is yelling at the kid, why don't yell at you, Danny? Yeah, I mean, you, it's like a joke. Yeah, I know. I, I, you know, we're close. Yeah, yeah. It's, but he's saying if it's a bit, it's brilliant. This show is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, moving on. Um, we also got uh, a shout out on a great show uh, on Compound Media called the Anthony Cumia Show. Oh, I didn't hear about this one. Yeah, so the Anthony Cumia Show. Um, it's a great show. Anthony Cumia was a longtime co-host of Opie and Anthony on the radio. He has his own network now, been you know four or five years. And his co-host Dave Landau is a great guy. And I tweeted him, "Hey, hey, Dave, uh, give me a shout out." And uh, he said he would. So, Danny, I sent you a clip. Bring that one up there. All right, this one. Yeah, that one. Okay. It, it's quick. Yeah, here it is. In December. So Dave is giving his um that's this week in Oklahoma crazy. City, Oklahoma. His I plugs. belong in one, right? His plugs. <laughs> uh, I might kill myself before. Listen, that. what? It's Thursday. That's this Thursday. You made it sound Listen like it's next week. No, this week, I mean. Yeah, yeah. And then December twenty to twenty second, the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase. Also a shout out, because I've been forced to do this again by my, to Mike Donato. <laughs> and I want to give a happy birthday to Reggie. Roachy. All right, take it down, Danny. Take it down. Oh, Yo, that's the second time you've been called Mike Denali. I know. So, <laughs> thank you, Dave. With a shout-out, he called me Mike. 
But, uh, I don't know. No, yeah, Nick the Poly called you Mike Bernardo, too. He did, he yeah. did. But uh, uh, what uh, Dave was doing, he was doing his, what they call in the business, his plugs. Where he's going to be. And um, he's going to be up in uh, Boston in April. So hope to go see him. By the way, if you if you caught the subtlety there, he said he had to yeah, I, do the I shout outs. You know why that is? To. Yeah, um, because I might have uh, bribed him. Wait, what I might have bought it <laughs> on Twitter. Some money, but uh, Danny, uh, can we money? can we send him a, a t shirt? Yeah, but are you, you know, an official McDonato t shirt? <laughs> I don't maybe let him show. You gotta give him the money. I don't have the money. Why would you bribe him if you don't actually have the money? <laughs> Anyways, folks, um, Who Are These Podcasts? Go to whoarethese.com. It's a great show. Uh, hilarious. Uh, they, they beat the crap out of everyone. And um, the Anthony Cumia show, plus a, a lot of other great shows, go to compoundmedia.com. You know the great thing about the Anthony Cumia show? What? So Anthony Cumia, you know, if you don't know, so he's a long, st long time star of the Opie and Anthony show. But you know how he started out? How? Oh. He was a tin knocker. A tin knocker? You know what that is? I don't know what a tin knocker is. A tin knocker tin is basically knocker. a guy who installs uh, air conditioning and heating. Air conditioning. He's like me. I'm a carpenter. Carpenter. So I work with guys like that. And he got his big break. And uh, he started in radio with Opie, and then, uh, you know, the rest is history. And then he got fired from SiriusXM, and he started his own network. Cool. And do you know how he started it? I don't know how he started Guess it. Guess where he started it? Uh, he started it by... In his basement. <laughs> so he basically did what we're doing. Oh, you're right. He got a camera. Basement right got some now. lights. Microphone? Whoa. I don't know. This network. You can't see it, but like all around us. Is yeah, so, um, you know, who knows? Maybe Mick Donato will eventually be the next Anthony Cumia. I doubt it. You know why? Why? Uh, Anthony Cumia is what they call famous. And I am not. Hmm. So, <laughs> go Pats. Yeah, it was fine. You have to score the Pats game. Yeah. I don't. I don't have it. Got it. Wish I'm going to yeah. worry about it. All right, moving on. I'm gonna try to get on my phone. See if I can. Yeah, yeah, that's enough, Danny. Uh, speaking of, uh, no, I can't get you know, Anthony. So he labels his network, Compound Media, as the free speech network, which I love. Cool. I'm a big fan of free speech. Free you know, say thing. what you want. Congress shall not infringe, you know, whatever. There it goes. Yeah, freedom, free country. Um, and I believe in that. And I've gotten a little, you know, pissed off lately about some things I've seen on Facebook. Are we going to have another, why is Vic annoyed for... Well, not necessarily. But on the YouTube there, people are complaining about this song. Uh -huh. it's, it's a classic Christmas song. Baby, it's oh, cold outside. I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. Not, it's not just on YouTube, though. It's like everywhere. Well, it's everywhere. Yeah. I, I see it on Facebook. Though. I've heard about this before. Now, Danny, do you know, you're 12, do you know why yeah, they're I, offended? Yeah, I've heard about this. They're offensive because the guy in it is, like, convincing the girl not to leave, even though, like, you know, nope. she's her own person. She's, she can if she wants to. Wrong. What? I think they got it all wrong. Wait, what? Here's... Why I think all the millennials are offended by the song "Baby It's Cold Outside." Why do you think? You know why? Why? Because it's not cold outside. It's like fifty degrees, and we're in New England. We don't know that. And that's against the whole millennials' beef about global warming. Oh wait, no, we don't know that. It doesn't give. So the they're complaining. Not because of the whole, uh, you know, he wants to, uh, 
keep the woman over and maybe do whatever. Because it's not really cold. Yeah, <laughs> their whole thing is global warming. That's what I think. Warming? That makes sense, Danny? Wait, I not really, because in the song, they never like actually say how cold Again, it's not the song. That That's what they're complaining about. Oh, so I about, think. Well, what if they're in a different, what if that song takes place in Alaska? Well, like here's the cold? thing. What if the song was in uh, Florida? I guess you're right. Yeah, but what if it was in Alaska? Then it makes no sense. It, it, it's global warming. That's why they're mad. Go right, Pats. Well, um, I guess that's a Hope good the theory, winner. but I think my I find a different song. Very offensive. Not offensive. Here's a song that I have problems with, Danny. What? It's a song you uh, you all know. It's called "I'll Be Home for Christmas." What song is that song? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, it is a big problem. I have the lyrics right here. All right. Okay. I printed them up. I also have it on my notes. <laughs> so, the song "I'll Be Home for Christmas," Bing Crosby. You know him. Uh, he beat his kids, oh, yeah, but uh, leads to his problems. Um, here is why I have a problem. I'm going to go through this, Dean. Okay. So it says, I'll be home for Christmas. All right, great. Yeah, hey, you coming home. Do. You can plan on me. Yep. Nice. Which means, hey, I'm going to be there. Yeah, that so makes sense. Don't worry. I'm there. All right, so far, nothing seems bad about it. Please have snow. And mistletoe. Wait, All right. What? So, I can handle the mistletoe. Okay. Like, I can go to Stop and Shop. I'll be buy some mistletoe. But you want me to have snow? No, I think he's... What, saying, do I control the weather? I think he's saying he's just hoping that there's no... no but he's saying, uh, have snow. <laughs> Look, I'll do my best, but, again, it's 50 degrees outside. <laughs> He goes on, Dan. Okay. And presents, get this, on the tree. Why would you want presents? So he's saying, make sure you buy me a present and put it on the tree. Wait, no, no, I don't care about, like, how, I how care. hard is that to put a present on the tree? No, no, I don't care about them, like, buying him a present. That's not the problem. So the problem is, like... He's expecting a present, and he wants it on the tree. But, but a good thing is that at least presents. it's small enough I can... <laughs> you're treat. supposed to put presents under the tree. Well, I'm just reading the lyrics. Sorry. <laughs> that's Moving not, on. That's not offensive, though. Moving on. It's not offensive. It just annoys me. Uh, All right. Christmas Eve will find me. All right. Where the love light gleams. I'm assuming that means at my house. Okay. You know, where you're coming. Yep. And he's saying, like, I'll be... Yeah. I'll be home for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Here's the kicker. What's the kicker? If only in my dreams. So after all that, you want, you know, mistletoe, you want snow, you want a gift, and you might not show up. I mean, haven't you bought a plane ticket? I guess, yeah, what, if the what the hell? The <laughs> That's what I find offensive. Not offensive, offensive, but annoying. If you're going to be home, be home. Yeah, unless it's a flight delay. Yeah, well, what if there's too much <laughs> snow? What if there's a weather problem? Yeah. Do you get my point, Danny? Not really. <laughs> My I point is, saying, like, millennials, you can find anything offensive. They find that uh, that song, uh, Kiss the Girl, from the, uh, what's that movie, uh, Little Mermaid? Oh, that song? Oh, yeah. When like, that's offensive that now. One, yeah. It's that's sung by a lobster. <laughs> I mean. Right. Does the lobster sing? No, does he? I don't think Sebastian sings. Does he? I Whatever. can't remember. <laughs> Here's the problem, I, it's Danny. Ridiculous what people the, find the millennials are getting to me. They're in my head. Because now I look at everything like through that lens. No. That offensive lens. No. And I was watching a movie, a pretty classic. Well, I just, I, that doesn't happen to me at all. A classic movie, um, 
You might have seen it. It's a Wonderful Life. You seen that movie, Danny? I've seen that movie too. Right. Very classic. Very. Classic. It's a Wonderful Life. If you don't know, Jimmy Stewart. He's uh, he's a good guy. His dad runs this building alone, and uh, basically he wants to uh, you know, off himself. You know, because things aren't going so well, and this angel, Clarence, uh, comes in and says, yeah, you know, it's not so bad. So I watched the movie, though. But if you look at it through the lens of today, um, it's pretty offensive. It's offensive. Yeah, and I found a lot of, you know, instances where I think we should ban this movie. Why should you ban it? <laughs> we should ban It's a Wonderful Life. I mean, like, I and I'm going to show you why. Okay. Danny, I sent you a bunch of clips. I see this. So I'm going to give you specific reasons. So hold on, Danny. Okay. I think, like, I, I think I know. All right. Like, a lot of the reasons you're going to say, but it's Have not... you seen the movie, Danny? Yeah, it's been yeah. a while, though. It's not ban worthy, though. Yeah, I'm going to ban it. So. It might just All right, like... first of all. <laughs> enough out of you, Danny. All right. A lot of different controversial issues here. The first one. It's kind of the obvious one, child abuse. So, um, Mr. Gawa, who's the druggist, the pharmacist, um, abuses young George. So, Danny, bring up the first clip, and let's uh, let's watch. Yeah, I, I got remember. several of these. Yeah, I remember this from the movie. Right, so there's Mr. Gawa. What kind of drugs Look at him, he's drunk. Yeah, Look at him, he's, he's beating the crap up. Look at him, his ears bleeding. Yeah, he said, yeah, you put poison in the caps. Mr. Gower, the old drunk. Like, yeah. I didn't know. Here's the best part. Here's how he checks. Here's how he checks if it's poison. I know you feel bad. Watch this. He tastes it. Yeah, yeah, it's probably boys. <laughs> I gotta talk to Bobby of the hazmat guys. Is that how they test the poison? And he hugs him. It's okay. Right, take it down. He's bleeding from his ear. Yeah, I, re I actually remember that scene. Yeah, but basically, this old man is beating the crap out of some little kid. Yeah, I will agree. That part is bad. Yeah, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty horrible. Yeah. So, that's one thing. Um... Going on. Racism. Racism. This is a horribly racist movie. I don't remember racism in this movie. Well, I'll, I'll show you one instance. So, do you remember um, the family, the uh, the Bailey family, they had uh, basically a maid. And, of course, she's an old black woman. And the night of the party, go ahead and play that second clip, Dan. Uh, I sent you. Um, Harry. George's hey, brother. Nice watch this. He's chasing her around. Yeah, watch. He slaps her in the ass. <laughs> Take it down. It's very old movie. So you know, back then. So he slaps her in the ass, and apparently that's okay. Um, and then uh, a little bit later, uh, Mr. Potter, who's a bad guy, he calls the Italians. Get this, Danny. What? Garlic eaters. Garlic eaters. That's what he calls them. Wait, what did you, wait. Uh, a bunch of garlic eaters. Oh, garlic eaters? Garlic, yeah. Oh, I couldn't tell because of your accent. <laughs> Should I well, give a clip? Or just... Very racist. Moving on. Oh, and I know the millennials today will hate this. Sexual misconduct. Oh, and this no. Me Too yeah, hashtag generation. Me too. We're gonna have hashtag, to yeah, hashtag Me Too. Hashtag. There's this, uh, you know, kind of nice scene with George and Mary. We're walking along, and uh, they they fell in the pool, so they had to get different clothes. Bring that clip up, Dan. The next one. one. Right here? Yeah. All right. That one. What is it you want, Barry? Yeah, so uh, George is wearing you some Just say the word and you know, throw a football uniform. Because yeah, they... Hey, that's a pretty good idea. And that's Mary. She's in some the robe. Because the, the clothes got wet. In what? He's but talking. Hey, what do you want? Dissolves, you want the moon? And the moon beams that shoot out of your. Want a roofie? Your toes and the ends of your hair. <laughs> it's basically. 
Go pets. Am I talking too much? Yes. Look at this old guy. Why don't you kiss her instead of talking to death? How yeah, that's... kiss her already. Why that's how they were back then. Just kiss her. Want me to kiss her? Whether huh? she likes it or not. Oh, you just wasted on the wrong people. Hey, hold on. Hey, oh, you go. come on back out here. I'll show you some kiss. I'll put a hair back on your head. And then, it, uh, look, okay. So, what happens? Now she's naked. Oh, yeah. She's naked. And what's going to happen? Is George going to give her the robe? Well, I mean, of course not. <laughs> he wants okay, to see her naked. Over here, in the She's hiding bushes. in the bushes. <laughs> there you are, catch. Wait a minute. <laughs> so, what am I doing? I like this spot. This is a very interesting situation. Yeah, very interesting, huh? Hmm. Man doesn't get in a situation like this every day. I'd like to have my robe. <laughs> Go pet. Not in Bedford Falls, anyway. Oh, oh. oh. Hi. George, the score. Give me my robe. Like to know. I've read about things like oh, this. Really but never... Shame yeah. on you! I'm going to tell your mother on you. Well, my mother's oh, watch this. I'm going to tell your mom. Yeah, my oh, mom's over there. Please. Their way downtown. They'd be on my side. <laughs> the police would be on my side. That's what he says. Maybe I could sell tickets. Let's see. So basically, um, the point is, you got no chance. Get this robe, I've got it. All right, take it, you, take it down. Take it down. So what we covered: child abuse, racism, sexual misconduct, and here's the the, the best one, I think. <sighs> Um, homophobia. What? Yeah, homophobia. Ooh, bad one. Now you'd say, Nick, there's no homophobia. And it's a wonderful life where there is. Do you remember the scene where George and Mary were at the house and Bert and Ernie? Bert and Ernie? You mean like from Sesame Street? Well, no. Uh, Bert, one of them was the cab driver, one was the policeman. I can't remember. That's actually a really funny coincidence. But, it's not a coincidence, Danny. But, if they were singing to them, play that next clip, Danny. All right. And you'll oh, see what yeah. I mean. That's uh, number four. Yeah. So they're in the house there. Watch this. Bert and Ernie are singing. That's them. Now, watch what happens here. Kiss him. And he slaps him on the head. All right, take it down, Danny. Basically, he's saying, oh, you know, I don't appreciate you assuming that I might uh, want affection. I guess so. He could have just politely said, well, hey, I'm, I'm not, no. All right, there's a couple more. Uh, let's get through this. So... You have a lot to say about this movie. I, I, there's a lot here because I'm looking at it through the eyes of the millennials. Alcoholism. Alcoholism. Yeah, you would mm. think, uh, oh, that's bad. That's an interesting one. So there's a scene where uh, George and the angel, Clarence, go to a bar. And okay. uh, basically, they order, play the next one, it's number right, five. This one yeah. They're in Nick's bar. You want a drink or don't you? Okay. That's Nick. Double Watch this. Double on. bourbon. Okay. Speaking of which, go Pat. What's the winner? I was just thinking. Uh, it's been so long. That's Clarence. <laughs> Look, He's mister, I'm standing here waiting for you to make up your mind. That's a good man. I was right. just thinking. Watch this here. Uh, of a flaming rum punch. No, it's not cold enough. Clarence is trying to wait order wait some wait fruity wait drink. I got it. Mulled wine, heavy on the cinnamon and light on the clothes. Here it is. Wait, so he, is he drunk? Hey, look, Watch. Mister, we save hard is drinks he in here for men who want to get drunk fast, and we don't need any characters around to give the joint atmosphere. Is that clear? It'll have to slip you my lip for a convincer. What are you talking about? All right, take it in. What's I, Nick say? I just dropped my pencil. Nick says, "I we serve drinks, hard drinks to 
men who want to get drunk fast. They're promoting alcoholism. Whoa. I've oh. covered most of it, but here's the worst one. Okay. At the very end, you know, that sort of happy ending. Yeah. We all come into George's house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, all right, play that last clip, Danny, okay. and I'll right. show you the problem here. Well, I tell you. All right, there's you know, there's his brother Harry. He's coming back from uh, the army. No, Watch this. Well, yeah, he's the richest man in town. You know why? Because everyone gave him all the money. First of all. Now listen. All right, the book. Look at the book. What book is that, Danny? Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. Take it down, Danny. All right. Take it, take it down. Okay. One of the most racist books in American literature. Okay, wait. Tom. Tom Sawyer, because Sawyer? Mark Twain Sawyer. was criticized for using, and I quote, I quote here, the term "nigger Jim." And some people say that's offensive. And I say, yeah. Who's you Tom think I'm being Sawyer? ridiculous? Who's Tom Sawyer? Do you think I'm being ridiculous? Okay, wait. So the child abuse makes sense. Like, that's not good. The racism. Yeah, that, that wasn't good either. Enough like, out of you, it Danny. Is, it's just a movie, though. That's the thing. It's just that's the point. It's not I am being ridiculous. It's just a movie. We should not be in this movie. Folks, we shouldn't be banning anything. You have to put stuff into context. When it was done, when it was written, that movie was made in the 40s. You can't apply the same standards of today to then. I'm not saying anyone's asking to ban that movie. I'm just trying to make a point. And the whole point about the song is, uh, baby, it's cold outside. You, you can't apply the same standards. It's ridiculous, and I'm sick of it. Yeah. So all you social justice warriors, why don't you get off of the, the YouTube and the, the Facebook and uh, the Twitter and go to Starbucks and just get a coffee and chill out. What if they're lactose intolerant? All right. You know what, Danny? Now I'm pissed off. <laughs> you know what it's time for? What? what? You know what it's time for? Wait, no, no. I think it's time for... Why am I so annoyed? Oh, I called it. I called because it the of the episode. I called this it. was not prepared at all. Oh. All right, hit the music, Danny. Oh, yeah, the music. Hold on. Now it's time for Why is Mick annoyed at things for no apparent reason other than the fact that he is just cranky? You know, Danny, that, that music, that, that puts me in a better mood. Nice I was music. feeling great at the beginning, you know, and I got cranky talking about this banning. Uh, but I do want to talk about some things that annoy me. Uh, first one, car commercials that suggest you should uh, give a car as a present. You know, they, they got a car with a big bow. Who does that? Who, who shows up on Christmas Day with a car with a big bow? And the wife's like, oh, yeah, that's great. If, if I had done that with my ex-wife, she'd be like, what, what the hell are you doing? I mean, uh, didn't you have to take out a loan? I mean, you have to transfer the, the tags and the title? It doesn't work that way. You don't just show up with a car. Stop it. Stop it with the car commercials. The bow. Ah. No. What's next? Oh. When I have to go into a, a website and it says you got to change your password, do you have to do that, Danny? No, it's never happened to me. Well, it happens to me all the time. Hey, your password's expired. Change it. Oh, and by the way, it can't be anything like the last 10 passwords you had. It's got to have a, a letter, a number, a character, uh, an animal. Uh, 
I don't know. Ah, noise of hell, especially this time of year. Shopping online. Stop at the pass for it. Next one. Eggnog. Brr. Hate it. It's like drinking phlegm. Enough of that. Um, yeah, this is not really seasonal, but a lot of sports going on these days. I I can't stand teams with singular mascot names. And I'm picking on the New England Revolution here. It's soccer. I'm going to watch. Like Miami Heat. You know, Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, you name it. You have to be a thing. Like the Bears. And you say, that guy's a bear. What do you call a guy who's on the Miami Heat? He's a Heat. For that matter, what do you call the Red Sox? I think you should Like call Dustin Pedroia. Sox. Would he be a Red Sox? Yeah. I don't know. Stop with the singular names. You've got to be a group of things. Hate it. Last one. Christmas cards. You know, uh, the Christmas cards today are not what they used to be. Used to be, you'd, you'd get an actual card, you'd fill it out, you'd send it. Now you just go online, you, you know, print some picture, and you mail it. You don't write anything. You don't, you know, personalize it at all. You think, here you go, with love from us. And I'm picking on Larry here this month. It's annoying. If you're going to send a card, actually write a note. Say something. You agree, Danny? Yeah, yeah. All right. You can, like, personally. Enough of that. Hit the music, Danny. Stuff. Enough of that. All right. This has been Why is Mick Annoyed at Sings for No Fear Reason Other Than the Fact That He Is Just Great. Well, what'd you think, Danny? Nice it's a good show. I, I, I'm a little cranky. This show. Yeah. yeah. You were able to, you know, talk about some yeah. stuff there. Pretty good stuff out there. Uh, folks, before we wrap up, I, I want to definitely thank who are these podcasts, uh, who are these dot com, for recognizing us on the show, and of course, Dave Landau on the Anthony Cumia show at Compound Media dot com. Really appreciate it. Um, Danny, any final thoughts before we wrap up? Uh, we're going to make a Christmas episode at one point, right? Mm. Later. Yeah, you got to okay. tune in next week. Very yeah. special Christmas episode. We never made that Thanksgiving of the episode. Mick and I, that we you know, planned. Not the Christmas one. Coming up. And any uh, update on the Pat score? Um, no. Folks, I want to go check out the end of the Pat's Steelers game. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you. Next time for the special Christmas edition. Danny? Yeah, Christmas. Thanks for joining. Take care, folks. Bye. This has been the Mick Donato Show.